Good morning. Beautiful day. Hope you're doing well. Ready to rejoice and serve the Lord today and thank Him for His goodness and mercy. I want to talk to you this morning in Galatians chapter 3, verses 12 through 15. And uh, this section in my study Bible is entitled Character of the New Man. And you know, the Bible clearly says that when we are born again and we become a child of God, there's some things about us that should be changed. There's some things that should be done away with, and there's some new things that should come into our spirit and into our being. Because we know the Bible says when, a, when someone is saved and they give their heart and life to the Lord, it says, behold, they become a new creature. The old man has passed away and the new man has, been take, has taken its place. And don't you listen to these verses here beginning in verse 12, chapter 3 in the book of Colossians. It says, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humilities, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God Rule in your heart, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. It says here that these, these characteristics, uh, mercies, tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing one another, forgiving one another, we must let these become a part of our life. And it says, but above all these, we are to put on love. And that love is... Is, is a strong love. It's like God's love for us is so strong that we can't even begin to comprehend how he loves us so much. But the Bible clearly states that when we become a child of God, we should have mercy now in our life. We grant mercy to those who have taken advantage of us. We're, we're kindness. And not only just to who, those who are kind to us, but to everybody we meet, even to those who are, we would, uh, the world would say as our enemies that have done us wrong and taken advantage of us. We become hum, hum, um, humble and let humility take our place. The Bible says oh, God can't use a person that's full of pride, but if a person will humble themselves, then God can use them to, to work in his kingdom. And that should be a come apart. Meekness doesn't mean being weak. That's not what meekness means. Long suffering, it means that we, we uh, uh, for a better of a lack of a better word, we just put up with some stuff. And uh, we don't let things get the best of us. We don't get all angry and mad and start blowing our top so to speak we're we're understanding we're loving we're caring uh, we're bearing with one another and forgiving one another and you know and bearing with one another when a brother has a burden we we help him we go with them until that burden is relieved we don't run away and hide but these need to become our characteristics today as a child of God and these characteristics will separate us from the rest of the world and that's what God is asking us to be, that peculiar people, that, that people that have come out from among the world. And when, they, when we do that, then we're going to let the light of Christ just shine so brightly, they're going to see a difference in us. And you'll be surprised they'll come to you and want to know what's changed. Why are you the way you are now versus the way you used to be? So today, let's look at these characteristics in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 through 15. And let's make sure that we have them in our life active in our being, showing each other love and kindness and forgiveness, not only to our brother and sister in the Lord, but to those out in the world. No better way to win them to the Lord than to show them the love of Christ that is now living in us because of the change we had made in our life when we asked God to forgive us of our sins. I pray today these characteristics are in all of us. Lord, we thank you for your precious word. God, that is so good at showing us the way we should be now that we're calling you our Lord and Savior. And now that we have confessed you to be our Lord and Savior and asked for forgiveness of our sins, now, Lord, we should be more Christ-like. People should be able to see you in us and your love and your mercy, your kindness, your forgiveness shining through us and in us. And that's the way we need to be today because we have accepted you as our Lord and Savior. And there should be a change in us. It may be a gradual change, won't be always overnight, but Lord, we should slowly but surely become more Christ-like in everything that we say and do. And if we'll do that, then maybe we can lead someone to know you as Lord and Savior. 
God, bless us today. Guide us to direct every step. And Lord, we'll be careful to praise you and thank you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.